Guys, in this video, let us focus on the lab diagnosis of H. pylori infection. There can be two ways of doing it, non-invasive or invasive. Obviously, you will always first try the non-invasive, right? Non-invasive, you have the urea breath test. I will tell you more details on that. Then you can have the uh, stool antigen antibody detection, okay? So, let us look at... Um, non-invasive test that is the urea breath test in this what happens the patient will take he will drink a solution of urea okay now if the bacteria is making bacteria is present it will make this urease enzyme right so the urea will get metabolized and um, it will get hydrolyzed urea will get metabolized or hydrolyzed and Carbon dioxide will be detected in the breath. The urea which we are sending into the stomach, it was having non-radioactive carbon-13. Non-radioactive, okay, which is good. It was having non-radioactive carbon-13. 13, 13. So, now the person drinks the solution and if the H. pylori is present in the stomach, it will be having urease enzyme, so it will hydrolyze urea and the labeled carbon dioxide will be detected in the breath. Okay, how will you do this? By spectroscopy, fine. Now, this is very, very popular nowadays, so you should know urea breath test and it is non-invasive. So, it is most consistent and accurate, it is sensitive, quick, simple used for monitoring of treatment so after some time it should become negative right if the bacteria all are gone you understood urea breath test is very very important like that you have antigen detection and antibody detection we are not going into details of that moving on to invasive test now in invasive test what happens there is endoscopy uh, endoscopy guided multiple biopsies so basically you will do endoscopy right there is uh, multiple biopsies so you can take the gastric mucosa from the antrum and the corpus from those areas you will take the biopsy and then you will subject that biopsy into histopathology uh, you will subject it to histopathological examination with um, the Warthin starry silver staining, you will use silver staining, okay, and uh, you can use immunostaining with anti H. pylori antibody. If you have these anti H. pylori antibodies, you can add those and you will have immunostaining, okay. So, let us look at this diagram from Apurba Shastri. Endoscopy shows duodenal ulcer due to H. pylori. Arrow, arrow is showing duodenal ulcer. This is duodenal ulcer the seen in an endoscope. H. pylori black curved rods. Here you can see black curved rods colonized in the gastric mucosa. Please note it will be in the gastric mucosa. And this is the Warthin starry staining. Okay. Wharton starry staining, silver staining. This is Wharton starry silver staining. It will appear black like this on the gastric mucosa. Fine. Coming to the other invasive techniques, microbiological methods. Once you get the biopsy, you can do gram staining. You will get gram negative bacilli with seagull shaped morphology seagull shaped morphology why seagull shaped look at this diagram how it looks like the birds right the seagulls this one this one are you able to see at least you can see two seagulls type of formation correct that is why it is called a seagull shaped morphology fine so in, you will see gram negative that's why it's pink and seagull shaped morphology so where will you see seagull shaped morphology h pylori fine 
in H. pylori, you will see seagull shaped morphology. Okay. Culture media, what and all you will use? The media that you use for Campylobacter, same you can use. It is a skiros media. Skiros media is this uh, color and chocolate agar also you can use. Actually, this culture is very, very good. Culture for H. pylori is very good. It is most specific actually. Fine. You will keep it at 37 degrees centigrade. No special temperature here. And uh, what else are the biochemical tests? Obviously, ureas will be positive that you already know. Biopsy ureas test also you can do. Okay. You can check the ureas activity from the uh, uh, sample obtained from the biopsy. Okay. That completes the lab diagnosis of H. pylori. Let me write it here. H. pylori lab diagnosis. What we learned so far? Non-invasive and invasive. Non-invasive, we saw that we will give the person some urea drink which has carbon-13 which is non-radioactive. Then in the breath you will check for CO2 which is labeled. Labeled CO2 you should get. And if that is coming, labeled CO2 is coming, that means urease is present in the stomach. If urease is present, if urease is present, that means bacteria are present. Okay, so that is non-invasive test. Just remember, if you remember E. coli is actually urease negative. Okay, that is helpful for us, right? Because helicobacter pylori is urease positive. Now coming to the invasive test. Invasive test you can do endoscopy guided endoscopy guided endoscopy guided what was the word endoscopy guided multiple biopsies endoscopy guided biopsies biopsy endoscopy guided biopsy from the antrum and corpus, then you will do histopathology. You will use warthin, starry stain, silver, silver stain, yes. And you will see black, what will you see? Black. What will you see here? Black curved rods, correct? Black curved rods you will see. Then in the endoscopy itself you can see ulcers also. Then what else? You can do immunostaining with anti-H pylori antibody. You can do warthin starry silver stain or immunostaining with anti-H pylori stain. Okay. Then you will do gram staining. It will be gram negative. Gram negative it will be. Then you will use culture. Actually gram staining and in gram staining you have to mention it's gram negative. And seagull shaped morphology you will get. 
सीगल शेप्ड मॉर्फोलॉजी सीगल शेप्ड मॉर्फोलॉजी यू विल गेट देन कल्चर मीडिया फॉर हेच पाइलोरी विल बी स्किरो मीडिया एंड इवन चॉकोलेट अगार so these will be specific for this campylobacter also you can use these right kiros media this is the most specific cultured media is most specific okay then biochemical test you will use biochemical test you will use बायोकेमिकल टेस्ट यू विल डू एंड यू विल सी दैट यूरियस विल बी पॉजिटिव फाइन देन व्हाट इज यू कैन डू बायोकेमिकल टेस्ट ऑन द बायोप्सी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज बायोप्सी यूरियस टेस्ट यूरियस टेस्ट सो यू कैन डिटेक्ट वेदर the ph you can use ph indicator and find the it's also called as rapid urease test you can find whether there is urease activity going on okay it is very good cheap everything okay that is biopsy urease test did you understand the lab diagnosis of h pylori Do you have any doubt?